Welcome to the Life and Reflection 3x3 mini book tutorial. Today we are working with the Whitney mini book and portraits provided by Pasha Bellum Photography. Remember when working with your photo template to have the layers window open, the character window, and the tools window, which are located here, here, and here in my workspace. And you can rearrange those into any way that suits you. Let's start with the cover for the mini book. Have the photo mask layer selected and the move tool. Go ahead and open up your first photo, drag it over the photo mask, right click, create clipping mask. Then you can easily rearrange that photo to your suiting. From there, select Flatten Image, and your cover is ready to go. I do want to point out something in case this is your first time working with a photo template. The cyan lines around the template are your guidelines. These lines will not print. They are there to keep you reminded as to where you need to keep the important parts of your photo and your text inside the guidelines. Next we have the back cover. Here you have a tag. The tag holding down the shift key can easily be resized if you need to fit more onto the tag. And then we have the logo example layer. If you have a logo, simply delete this logo and add your own in. If you don't happen to have a logo, you can easily add a title here, a title for the album, the name of the person in the album, or your company information, maybe your phone number and your website. There is additional space here on the paper at the bottom. Once it's done, just as the other, flatten image and save as a JPEG. Your cover is ready to go. As you can see, these mini albums are actually really quick and easy. The next one we're going to do is the front panel. And again, you're going to see kind of the guidelines there. These you want to keep in mind, that is going to be fold lines uh, on the inside here. Let's start with our first photo. And another way that you can do a clipping mask is hold down the Alt key. You'll see the symbol pop up between the layers and click and that's going to mask that right in there for you. There we go. Move on down to your next one, the center photo. Open up the photo that you'd like to have for the center. Here we go. And your printer is going to prefer that you do have everything dragged to the edges. So here you can see your face is really close to that fold line. So I'm just going to bring it over a little bit and that would be just fine. And then we'll go to the last photo here. Create the clipping mask and again adjust it to where the face won't be folded on. There you go. Another way to flatten your image is choose Control Shift E and that is ready to print. Last we have the back of the accordion. So you also have the cover and the front will pop up along next to these when it is printed. And you're just going to simply do the same thing here. Add in the photos of your choice. You can see you can, there is a lot of photo space here in this album. So if you have a photo shoot with so many photos, you just really can't decide um, what you like best, or maybe it was an event, so you really have a lot of stuff going on, then this template gives you plenty of space to add all of those photos. All right, now this part of the album, we do have a text layer. 
just want to go ahead and select the text layer and the text tool and here you can type in any information about the event the occasion the person or people in the album once that's complete control shift e your file is flattened and your album is ready to print hope you have a great day